Well, I guess there's no paranormal thing tonight. I was looking forward to Paul doing something. He has all these apps that he has, and I was hoping he'd send me one or two. Oh, ha, ha, ha. oh shoot. I had such a lovely nap. Went to sleep in a zenith last night. <laughs> But I have shingles, and they attach to your nervous system, and it seems to be ever so tiring every now and then. I got books out to list them, because I sell on Pango, but then I was loading a video on TikTok, and a beautiful woman was talking to me. And, you know, all my goals for doing much else sort of disappear. <laughs> I'm a soft butch, and nothing is cooler than being talked to by a girl. I, um, when I was young, I didn't date till I was 40. Because... I was living my life trying not to disappoint anybody. Young lesbians don't understand that things aren't as easy as you assume they are. I think that there should be a button so that those of us who want to identify who we are are allowed to. I don't like the fact that uh, the powers to be will acknowledge uh, non-binary, but will not acknowledge that women are not all female who want to date men. Some of us are soft butches like me, or feminists. Feminine women are fun to be with and fun to date, not so fun to shop with. Because you end up holding their purse while they're doing things. That can be okay, too. Anyway, I have to put these books away and feed Lulu because she's starving. <coughs> she can't eat the hard crunchies that hurts her for teeth. Oh, I have a car. Call Ruth to see if she's in the mood to eat and um, watch Zenith. So I didn't get, she watched one more after I petered out. Because, well, I have to write. And I wrote, and then I went to sleep. Because I was so tired. When you have something attacking your nervous system, it's harder to stay awake. It's like I've taken a couple of those sleeping pills that she sent me from Arizona. They're made of hemp. Hemp. And I made a mistake when she sent it to me. I was curious about how they all tasted, so I had four. Four were worth way too many. They were three too many. And so after I had the fourth one, I just sort of... <laughs> I was like my Aunt Weva. My Aunt Weva would get up really early. We didn't discuss it even until she passed away. She had cancer. She wanted to look her best for the family. She was one of 13 children. Her dad was a Lutheran minister. And she was the uh, second youngest. And she was movie star beautiful. My mom was beautiful too. My mom's beauty flowed from within. And I thought she was beautiful always. 
she didn't think so. And she was afraid. Her first husband beat her and kicked her when she was pregnant with half my older half-sister. I see her as a half-sister because no real blood sister would do to me and to our mom and to our younger sister, which she did. I'm hoping that it's a deep, cold grave she's in. You would understand if you had a narcissistic family member who thought that you were a good choice for a, a tool, if you're okay. So, in a way, we would get up early and get all pretty. And then we'd show up. And she and mom would work all the way through the day. The neatest time up the cabin is where we'd all jump in the car with all the the curtains and all the linen that hadn't been washed all winter. Because it was all, you know, most of the time no one was in the cabin. And we'd go to uh, Johansson's. They had a laundromat there. It was in between uh, Winter and Loretta, Wisconsin. And we there was a bar there. And Dad and Norm would go to the bar. And we'd do the washing and the folding. Women work. You live your life not wanting to disappoint anyone. You don't live very much. I admire you young lesbians who come out early. But I couldn't. I wish I didn't tell anybody. It eats yourself it eats you up in life inside. If you're being someone you're not. My half, my older half, my older sister didn't see it as wrong to lie and ruin my good name. The only thing you truly have in life is your good name. 